Back to basics. Max HP for a rare card. The people love a rare card. <laughs> so do I. Emulate Bludgeon, Fiend, Fire, Feed, Corruption, Impervious, Offering, Juggernaut. I don't know about Juggernaut, but... Hmm... I mean, yeah, it's gonna be this. Reaper is another one. I was trying to think of how many I remember, because it's been like a month since I played Ironclad, because I've been playing so much of the Downfall mod. I'm rocking the Bludgeon. The big Bludgeon. That seems like a way to get back in the Ironclad spirit. Just get him. Right? Just just upgrade the bludgeon, the big bludgeon, and then get the super elite. Just delete them. Just no more super elite. And get rid of these guys too. But Tricky, how, how are you going to block when you spend all your energy on the bludgeon? Well, rest, rest, rest. Burning blood don't die. That's my current hypothesis. And uh, for starters, we can just go ahead and uh, right across the face. But, but Tricky, you were supposed to actually, actually, Tricky, you're supposed to defend twice and then wait to get Bash next turn. No, no, because you see, with Ironclad, it's a lot about mindset. And, and you mean to tell me that this guy, who is a demonic warrior, who has just been revived by uh, our great whale, Niao, and bestowed a great power... Uh, a great attack, but you know what I mean, a great uh, card, and we are meant to not play it, we are meant to not, do not underestimate Ironclad's capabilities. Do you see this? This is artistic, this is precision. Look at how accurate the mallet is connecting with this individual's skull, and how concentric this circle is with it. He's no amateur. Ironclad really just wants you to know that he's not an amateur, I think. And so, what's going on? This is uh, Guardian, right? There's a lot of fires. I think I like Armaments, because Armaments upgrades the defense for Guardian. And upgrading defense for Guardian is nice. And having a copy of Armaments Plus in the deck means that you could take Fusion Hammer very comfortably. The problem with Shrug It Off at the moment is that the moment you play Shrug It Off... As early as next floor, uh, you're going to draw a bludgeon and be unable to play the big bludgeon. And that might make you start to question what you know about the game. That might make you start to doubt yourself, and that would absolutely ruin Ironclad's momentum that he's trying to build. And it would cause me to play on tilt the moment I play Shrug It Off and draw a bludgeon. So for that reason, I'm taking armaments. And now we don't have to go to that shop next floor because we can simply toss away a strike. Because strikes are simply not big bludgeons. And this cultist has no idea. <laughs> has no idea what's about to hit him. He's gone. And I would just not draft any of these here because bludgeon doesn't care about strength. And if you take one of these, then what you're saying is I would not like to draw bludgeon i would like to draw this instead and bludgeon would say well that's hurtful i thought that we had trust i thought that you trusted me because look we're healthy we're doing great i trust bludgeon do you <laughs> what bludgeon says is it says we've got damage covered for the foreseeable future so, so just keep that in mind. Like, he's gone. Ironclad's a magician. Because he just made that slime vanish. And that one too. That's not a joke anyone's ever heard before. And, uh, <laughs> we are just going to upgrade the big bludgeon after. And of course, Ironclad is the easiest character of all time. You just get a free large chest on floor five. Completely free. Just a free rare relic. And uh, that is not doing anything, but it very well can. It's just that we are walking directly up to a super elite with nothing but a base deck, no potions, and a bludgeon plus, which is fine by me. I would not take the armaments upgrade here over the big bludgeon, because what that would be saying is you're saying that you're going to use armaments plus to upgrade 
bludgeon? But then if you do that, then you don't have energy to play the big bludgeon. So what are you upgrading it for? It's blasphemous. But we will upgrade the armaments. Bonk. We will get it there. Just not now, because then you couldn't have gotten rid of one of those sentries, for example. And these upgrades on these strikes do not matter. As long as we push these guys over the threshold of the point where a big bludgeon takes care of them with no concern, then it doesn't matter. The strikes don't matter. Strikes don't matter. This man is not going to be killed with the strike. Bonk. <laughs> and how are they going to stop it? They can't stop the big bludgeon. Because how are you going to weaken him? You can't. You can't. He's on his way. And Whirlwind... Whirlwind's good. And we can upgrade Whirlwind. The issue is that we just fought metal sentries. And we're fine. I don't know if we need that. I'm okay. True Grid is fine as well. I just want to make sure we get the bludgeon and get it on him fast and apply it. <laughs> and still no potion, but it's okay. Quite alright. We'll go and dry. I got no problems with that. And Orichalcum. <laughs> but Tricky, how are you going to block? How are you going to block <laughs> with the big bludgeon? Mm, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I think you're supposed to armament the bash. Because if Bludgeon is at the bottom, then Knob won't be vulnerable for it. And is dead as long as he's vulnerable for the big Bludgeon. You can do... Yeah, so... Just like that. Just like that. And it's gone. I love Bludgeon. It's one of my... F Ooh! Beamfire is another one of my favorite rare cards. <laughs> That does a lot of damage. That's a card that I'm never upset with. Beamfire is trustworthy. Trustworthy card, I would say. And that's another large element of the Ironclad gameplay. Is trust. And, okay. So this is going to happen. We're going to draw Beamfire and Bludgeon together. And that's fine. Because, you see, all of our energy just goes into the Bludgeon. We're happy. And Ironclad's happy, and we're doing totally okay. We healed HP from this fight, and I'm I'm good to go. Wow, I've never... I don't know if I've been in this position before. Where we've gone the entire act without receiving a potion. To the point where now we have to receive a potion from the next fight. That's pretty funny. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even notice it though, cause, uh, cause this just ends the fight long before the thought of a potion comes to mind. So we could meal tickets also some nice sustain. We could employ it if we wanted, but it doesn't seem necessary. I want to get this up because that's an upgrade from 28 damage to 40 damage. That's big. Beam fire does a lot. So if you do it now, then that's 40 damage and then he splits and that's no good. So I want to do like that. Because now he's buttered up and in perfect condition to be smacked extremely hard. Back at full HP, we got a block potion as we are entitled to at this point. And there's a barricade. So as a compensation for not receiving many potions, we receive an extra rare card, I would say. Well, we started out with this one, so it depends on how you look at it. We got these pretty close together, but I'm taking Barricade. We got a Block Potion, too. If it's a Block Potion, you got to take the Barricade with it, and we could Barricade and then Ori Calcum for a little bit of Block, carry over, and it activates the Bird Urn, which is relevant. It's, I don't think that that's that irrelevant. It's only irrelevant because we're at full HP, and the whole point of Bludgeon is that it communicates to the act that you have damage solved for the foreseeable future. So, uh, 
you can start looking toward block solutions, armaments, upgrade the defense, barricade, keep them. Keep the defense in there. Nice and tight. I'm sorry, Burdern. I think this is barricade turn. Can't be too sure, but all I know is that I'm not playing defend when we got Ori Calcum. And it's two strikes and a Cinder's Bane. I think you're supposed to barricade there. And we could upgrade them all. Upgrade them all, yes. And then... This is probably okay. What I don't like about playing all three, it, although it does block all of them, it leaves us on one block, which turns off Ori Calcum, and then we're drawing Bludgeon and Fiendfire together again, which is going to happen, but you tend to be happy when playing one or the other. I am. But now we're in this position where you could bludgeon this guy and then you're at one block and then it's just a little bit. But you can't bludgeon this guy. I'm wondering if you bludgeon here. I don't know. I still think theme fire is insane, so you draft it. You know, the point is to not be discouraged. Because the Spire will try to discourage you with hands like this. And you have to just say, No, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right, and you can't stop me. That's another big part of it, is you can't stop me. And, wow! <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. I, I just don't even know... Okay, I'm, like, we're fine, and that's, uh, so bloodletting is incredible here. I like that bloodletting a lot. A lot. And we got a regal pillow now, too, so how are they going to kill us? We got amazing sustain. We got a bird urn that could definitely come into play. We got meal ticket, regal pillow with the burning blood. We could take a bunch of damage. They're going to die as long as bludgeon gets played enough, and... Uh, this is just this is awesome we're gonna upgrade it right now and then we could armaments upgrade the defense and the extra energy can go into play and defense which are gonna get held by barricade fiend fire away the rest of the strikes play bludgeon bloodletting play bash and bludgeon on the same turn there's a lot to like about that bloodletting and we have all the sustain in the world to pay that life one of my main problems with ironclad or my main weaknesses with the character is that I used to undervalue bloodletting a lot. Ironclad doesn't come by energy all that easily. He's got ways to cheat energy, but as far as just a way to gain it, those are not that easy to come by. Fiendfire? Just kick him in the next phase? Yikes! What do you do here? I don't want a Fiendfire. I want to armaments barricade but that that seems like a poor turn I almost want to just play barricade and pass turn and get extra block from Ori Calcum because <laughs> Armamus barricade is blocking less there is also just beam firing all this away I don't know if that's the right way to approach it I want to have vulnerable for this fight Armaments barricade, but do we need these upgraded? Like, really? Do we need them upgraded? This is <laughs> blocking for one more to not armaments barricade. Yikes. I'm gonna do this. Save nine life. I don't know how much to value weak potion that. Really. Bonk. Next phase. Don't even think about it. No steam will be vented. Not even gonna say anything. That's fine. That should do. Bonk. Seventeen, you say? Oh, we could armaments and then strike, strike. That's probably better. 
I didn't say strikes were useless. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on. I know that it's... I, I know that that's a part of it, but it's not a mistake as it's being portrayed. I feel like the game is trying to say, you made a mistake, Tricky. And that's just... That can't be it. Can't be. What do you want from me? I'm just trying to make it out here. I'm gonna do that. Block more. I don't care about upgrading that last defend. Block more now. Ah, oh, jeez. So, bash... Bash strike. Bash strike bludgeon. I think we're okay. We're just gonna... Okay, we didn't draw them at the same time. I could be thankful for that. <laughs> I could be thankful for that, because now we can do this if we felt so inclined. That's probably okay. At this point. And then we use this block to get the bludgeon king. Yes. <laughs> It's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike, Ironclad. Like riding a bike. And this is even better because of the Regal Pillow. We're at 61 health going into this act, which is phenomenal. I was not sure if I wanted to say fantastic or phenomenal, so I said phenomenal, which is... That could work. The message gets communicated. The point comes across. And now we're blocking 30 with the big barricade. So that is lovely. We got energy. And we have an AoE problem. There is a glaring AoE issue. But at least Bludgeon almost takes care of an entire slaver on its own. Almost. There's... I see, I'm looking at stuff like double meal ticket. We have a lot of money. Three elites in a couple of ways. I think I like this left side. I want to take events though too. Because... Apparitions would be really, really good, especially since we have armaments and barricade type of stuff, and Cursed Tome, Necronomicon, and then Kiridon is also good because of Urn, and so is Nil Rise with Urn. So Cursed Tome, um, Council of Ghosts, those are some stuff we're looking for. Augmenter is always nice, and uh, Chosen just... Uh, <laughs> Just being laid waste to. I hate to frame you that way, Chosen, but I don't think you would be able to argue. And that is a little bit of AoE. Shockwave is really good. So it's AoE mitigation, at the very least, is very good in this fight. We're figuring it out. We're healthy. We have spirit, ambition, intention. And... This might just be block potion. Because that's a lot. And I don't just want to play defend. Because that's worse than Ori Calcum. I think this is block potion. Could be wrong. But. It's saving the life. It's saving life. There we go. What's this game about? That's the question I pose to you. Something to think about. Is what is this game about? What exactly... Oh, what's going on here? That's something to ask. Alright, now we're in a very okay position. And... That is another underlying aspect of ironclad gameplay believe it or not is it takes a it takes a second to get set up but then once you do oh well once you do then you got burning blood then you got massive payoff you got you know what eventually i'm gonna get there eventually i'm gonna get there and you're not gonna like 
how it looks by the end of it. That's what Ironclad says. And we have a skill potion, so we are being treated fairly this act so far, I would say. More fairly. We could go to a shop here, meal ticket exact 15, put us at 68 out of 68. Um, or it's right here. I want to have enough money to afford the rare relic at a shop. I would like a rare relic. And we don't need to go to a shop now. We could just cash out at one of these shops up here. Because we definitely want to go fight a third elite, I would say. So, I don't want to blow all our money here, for example, and then show up here with not a lot to do. Probably still be able to afford a card remove there, at the very least at that point. But I do want to investigate events because of the prospect of Cursed Tome. Necronomic the people love Necronomicon. That's the deal. Okay. The people don't love you guys. No one likes you, Centurion and Mystic. I'm sorry. Someone has to say it. Uh, it's just... No one's a fan of you guys. This is tough. This is tough. The kit is still so expensive. I don't know what to do here. You never play defend. Because this... So you're looking at Barricade Strike, or you're looking at Shockwave Strike. That's Those seem terrible, but Barricade, we've got Impervious in here, so... I feel like Barricade could be the way to go. Barricade Strike. And not play Shockwave. Ew. Such are the decisions. An ironclad player must make. Armaments defend. We can lose those two cards. That's okay. Should be fine. Now we're not frail. Impervious while frail feels bad, but you can't do anything about it. And, <laughs> you messed up, because now this guy's about to take an enormous bludgeon to the face. More than likely. More than likely. Just a hunch. Call it a hunch. Bonk. I like the evolve. It plays with urn a little bit. And what Evolve is kind of saying, is it saying, Hey, hey, three elites, book of stabbing, slavers, we are not going to be overwhelmed with your status nonsense. And what's going to happen is, you're going to take this bludgeon, and if you don't, then we're going to play Evolve into an enormous fiend fire, directly into your face, book of stabbing. That's what Evolve is saying. And it's saying, you know what? You know what? We will find power through. We will find the status synergistic cards. And a uh, second wind. And then that's what's going to happen. We're going to find power through with the Fiend Fire. We're going to... Like, it's a, it's a little bit speculative. But it already plays so well into the elites. That's the deal with the ball. And Urn activates it. Or it activates Urn, I should say. And we can transform another strike because they are not very good for us at the moment. And there's some AoE. And also, Bird Urn heals a lot. Do not sleep on Bird Urn. Although this is also making us lose life. It's free for the first two turns. It's AoE. We can't be upset about getting combust as a transform. We cannot be upset about such a thing. I think that's okay. I love blocking 30. Oh my goodness, there's, there's a bludgeon in your future, my friend. In the near future. Gotta get the heal. Earn. There's some AoE too. 
for your gremlin leader, for your slavers, and true grit is tempting. It really is. It's still just, uh, I don't know, these random block cards, like I'm not trying to take shrug it off. I'm not trying to take true grit. Power through is one thing if we find a power through, but Ori Calcum is relevant. It makes playing Shrug It Off or playing True Grit a little bit worse at the moment. And we should be doing totally fine into this elite. Totally fine. Hit miss last words. Wow. We need to play both of these. Let me get something that blocks. Anything. Okay, that's fine. Because I'm really trying to get both of these in play. I think we just have an obligation to do so. Bloodletting strike? I don't know. We got Impervious in there and then on the reshuffle, we're just gonna do a big fiend fire or just find bludgeon and then we should be doing okay. I think that's good. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. Bye. Beautiful. Got the shovel with the fusion hammer. That is very nice. And so is brew. And so is battle trance. That's a very good battle trance. Brutality is also possible. But I'm just not that big of a fan of brutality. In general. I probably undervalue it too much. But I would rather just draw the extra card now. Instead of losing the card draw to the brutality in the first place. But there is urn. And we do have good sustain, so the HP loss is negligible. But Battle Trance draws a bunch of cards now. We play Battle Trance, we play Bloodletting, Barricade Impervious. We play Battle Trance, Armaments, Upgrade Everything, or play a big Fiend Fire. There's a lot of reasons to like that Battle Trance. Man, I had forgotten how little card draw Ironclad actually has. It's not a lot, but... That's, I guess, the appeal of the characters. Once you do get your card draw going, you have some of the best card draw. Uh, and Dark Embrace and Evolve can draw a completely unfair amount of cards. Hmm. So, this is definitely an Impervious, but... We have to ask, is Spheric Guardian, is this guy ever going to be vulnerable, ever? Because if not, then there's more damage to Armament's strike on him, instead of playing Bash and passing turn. I think that it's possible that we could get him to be vulnerable. So... Five damage? I don't know. It's too hard to think about this stuff. We could do this, too. Almost want to just play Explosive Pot, but I really would like to keep this for Slavers or Gremlin Leader. I don't know. Twenty-seven. And, hmm. Upgrading those has to be productive. I'm just thinking about this. Cause eighty. Can we do eighty? I'm gonna just do this. I feel like we could get him. Or not eighty. I don't know why I was thinking eighty. Well, I guess that's 80, isn't it? No, it's not. It's 60. It's not even close to 80. 60, and then he's 5 from the Combust, so he's just one short? I almost want to just rip open Brew. Or do we respect this? Maybe it's Evolve Legend on this guy? 9, 9, and then 
five, that's not enough to get rid of him. Man, I wish that combust got upgraded. But it didn't. And here we are. I see. Imagine not having gone to that shop. Imagine deciding not to go to the shop. Right, guys? Hmm. I feel like Evolve should be played. And in that case, probably no reason to take out the sentry. Makes sense to me. Bonk. Man. Where did Calcum carry? Yeah, let's just get rid of him. Can't get back to that barricade to get that two extra HP. Replenish our potion. Not trying to take the shrug at all. Just not. All right, 13 HP, it's doable. It's doable, nothing to fear. No worries, not even a little bit. Safe to say those will be used. Fourteen combined. I think that's okay. I'm gonna keep this just in case. Bird urn is real. Evolve fiend fire is coming. Can't. Can't. Don't even think about it. Hope you weren't considering that. Man. Wow. I guess you don't play barricade. Not a big surprise, I suppose. The silly... Combust. There's a strike in there. Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Whew. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get the strike. Okay. So. About to watch this pro gamer strategy. Understand? We're healing two life right now. Losing one life from the combust, but that one life might just matter. You never know these days. And I try not stall fights like that a lot, but Bird Urn says so. I'm gonna pass here for sure. Courier's also hilarious. Let's go directly to this shop, employ our meal ticket, and we are doing totally okay. I'm not passing up Happy Flower because uh, Big Bludgeon would really appreciate if we would, uh, if we would notice it. Do you armaments the battle trance here? Armaments battle trance, or do you battle trance and then armaments everything you draw? Well, getting shockwave or combust upgraded seems really important, so I think I want to trance first. Cool. Evolve isn't doing anything in this fight. So we could play this and upgrade all this stuff and then bludgeon somebody.
upgrading these defense has to be productive. Has to be the way to go. So the deal is that one strike, if we want it next turn to be, oh, I don't know, man, I don't know, almost, I'm debating on doing this, but it's too late now. Ah, so combust will be at the bottom. I understand how it must be. I see. Get this guy out. Now he's about to not be vulnerable or weak anymore. There's Battle Trance Fiend Fire. I want to play the Combust, but there's also this Defend. Man. Battle Trans Fiend Fire, how much damage was that? That was 60 damage, wasn't it? It's just a question of if we want to do this and try to heal a little bit. I don't see a reason to be greedy. We got meal ticket coming up. This is actually kind of tough. He's going to be attacking for a lot next turn. Worst case scenario is we draw a hand like that. I'm going to just do this. It's not worth trying to care about that two life. But maybe it was worth it. Seeing as we had him anyway. Disarm plus is a card that we can't be that happy about. Or that we can't be that upset about. <laughs> This arm plus is a card we should be happy about. Yes, that fight rattled me, man. Triple cultist when you've got nothing but a bludgeon. But you know what? We made it. And we got a courier and we got meal ticket. And what else? Pocket watch. is incredibly broken here. No question about it. <laughs> bludgeon past turn. Next turn. Draw this entire huge hand. Armaments upgrade everything. Play bloodletting. Battle Trance play an enormous fiend fire. Like, Pocket Watch is definitely insane here. And I kind of want to buy this Exhum. Exhum the Impervious. Exhum Disarm sometimes. Exhum Shockwave sometimes. But Exhum Impervious would be the main one for the barricade. And then we could take another strike remove. So I would say that was a good floor. Very good floor. Thank you, Courier. Doing quite well, I think. And then we got the happy flower for this turn. So this is something we could just be like impervious evolve fiend fire if we wanted. And we can always exhume any of them back. Impervious evolve fiend fire. We want to do that? Sure. We can always exhume them back. Watch is so crazy here. <laughs> we could zoom this fiend fire back too. Yeah, you got to him too late.
Burden already at 32 HP though? I don't know. I don't think we need... This is like the fifth armaments we've seen in this act. Don't need that. Thorns. I'm gonna keep Thorn Potion. We've been blessed with potions in this act for sure. I'm gonna keep Thorn Potion for the Book of Stabbing. Prospect. And we have armaments, so we shouldn't need Forge Pot. I do want to keep the Thorns. Just like, we already fought Snake Plant, didn't we? Did we fight Centurion and Mystic twice? Yikes. There's Chosen and Bird. I want to hold Bronze. And Gamble Brew is fantastic. Did we already? Yeah, that's right, because I talked about the armaments. Beautiful. Gonna probably turn off Pocket Watch here. But that's okay. Such things have to be done at times. Really am trying to armaments impervious. Strike. And we have something like exhume disarm coming up. Disarm, exhume, disarm. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. I don't know why I wanted to hold Thorn Potion. Book of Stabbing is absolutely trivialized here. I want to do that. I don't know if we need to bloodlet. I think we're fine. Big fiend fire. What do you say? Pocket watch on, or rather, happy flower on two. That's fine. Absolutely no reason to hold Thorn Potion. Just a little bit more. It's a little bit more sustain. <laughs> and the power through almost completes this deck. I love this deck. This is a great Ironclad run. Glad that Happy Flower was on two going into this. I think one, two, three. I think that's probably okay. Now we've got Evolve for this fight. Got all kinds of tricks. We could just be like Impervious Fiendfire. On somebody. Pocket Watch is a different kind of broken. Just so everybody knows. I think I like Happy Flower on one, because what's going to happen is turn one about Fight Collector, and Happy Flower will be on two. And then we just play Bludgeon or Barricade and pass turn, draw an enormous hand, and then get the Happy Flower energy there. True Grit is possible at this point. I'm not so certain on it, though. It helps manage the power through statuses, I suppose. But also, I just don't really mind the statuses because they're at least giving us card draw, right? With the Evolve, True Grit's a common, 
if the wounds get out of control with power through, then we can fiend fire them. And then if that gets out of control still, we can exhume fiend fire. And if that gets out of control, it's a common. We can find it if we need it. Not worried. Easiest dig of my life. Okay. There's been better. But do not sleep on the courier. The courier mob bank. One, two, three. Uh, five energy, please. Amazing turn. Just outstanding turn. Got the combust. Oh. That's... <laughs> what are you going to do about it? It's absolutely no problem. Disarm barricade? Sure. Now we can exhume impervious. Upgrade them all. Get a bunch of block with barricade up while we're not frail. And if we wanted to, we could like get shockwave in. Kind of want to do this while we're not weak. Oh wait. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, Collector. Bonk. Look at how fast the HP bar just goes down. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Big bludgeon. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I know. Also, we take corruption. That's what we do here. And it's... You don't have to play it. You know, I think that's something that people tend to... They're like, does this deck even want corruption? The answer is probably yes, because you don't have to play it. We can always be fire it away or just not play it. But if we do want to play it, Burden will be happy. And we can do stuff like Impervious, Exhume Impervious for zero cost. Uh, and it will make the hallways and elite fights faster, I think. You could say the deck is almost complete. Take Crown, you could take Pyramid, but we have Pocket Watch and Power Through. It's a little awkward with those things. So let's go ahead and just take the Astrolabe and... Okay. So I saw a Dark Embrace. <laughs> That's about the worst perfected strike I've ever seen. And the second bloodletting? Okay. So be it. Corruption Dark Embrace. And we have the easy boss. <laughs> oh, this deck destroys Time Eater though. We got Pocket Watch. And I'm sensing immense shovel vibes right now. And I like the events in this act, so something like that. Although... There's a second, so there's also Mind Bloom for gold, which is very possible. And with the Courier, that could be kind of nice. People like a good gold rich run, right? I think people like that sort of stuff. Courier, bunch of gold, hand of greed. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that that's something that people like. Next. Bye! <laughs> I forgot about that one. My mind is on Mind Bloom, Double Orb Walker, Winding Halls, Sensory Stone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can it really be this easy? Can it really be this easy? And, and honestly, I don't even really mind the normalities. We got Pocket Watch. We're playing three cards a turn anyway. It's pretty terrible, but we could also just fiend fire him away if we need to. So I don't. We can. Cause here's the thing: is that mob bank. We have courier mob bank. I'm not trying to 
break bank right here. We can just cash out big at this shop and take this left path, because this left path is still so much more value and it has more events. You know, like this is hallway fight, elite hallway fight. And this is dig, elite, dig. So two relics here for two hallway fights, kinda. And winding halls, sensory stone, double orb walker, still very good for us. We can remove a normality right here, remove a normality at the last shop. I'm not very concerned. We have this, so I don't... Three cards a turn's okay. And we have Gamble Brew to help manage the normalities too, and we could still exhaust them. Because I just don't think that this path is as much value. And Mob Bank needs to stack. I think that it might be the right play to go left. And this is even more safe, I think, because you do have two fires here and a Regal Pillow that exists and hasn't been used yet. And we're not getting any meal ticket value right now from this shop i want to go left i think we're okay see i love sensory stone i'm about it i find it hard to pass up secret technique we do have pocket wash which shuts off which this shuts off but still secret technique's outstanding so there's enlightenment here you could enlightenment the bludgeon and make it cheap to play um This is one of those cases, I love Discovery as a card in general, stuff like Entrench and Feel No Pain could be very, very nice here. And really, it's kind of also because we have two normalities, we could get in some trouble sometimes. Um, it's, uh, we're going to armaments this, <laughs> and if we absolutely need to, which we really shouldn't given the amount of sustain we do have, but if we need to. We can stall fights for full heals with Bird Urn under a barricade by spamming Discovery Plus and looking for power cards. It's not very inspiring, but it's something we can do. It's a trick we can pull out of our sleeve, you know? Fantastic. Just outstanding deck. The double bloodletting, true combo. Get the discovery upgraded. Get this guy out. Okay, we're gonna be stalling a little bit. We're gonna be stalling a little bit for some... Wow! I don't know what I expected, but... Because I don't want to die. And we have two normalities. Which is not something that you tend to want to have if you are really sure you don't want to die. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I don't want to lose. And I will stall if I have to. But not for very long. But I will do it. One, two, three. I was playing three cards anyway. I don't mind it. I promise, guys, it's fine. We'll just beam fire it away. It's easy. Oh, man. We could exhume Fiendfire back if we need to. I know it's not very inspiring, but you have to understand. We're going to dig here, and we're going to fight an elite. And I'm not trying to die. If I die with 2 HP left to spare and I didn't full heal, I'm never going to forgive myself. I'll probably quit the game. Brutality's not what we're looking for, but Second Wind gets rid of the normality. 
What do we want to exhume here? We'll just get back bludgeon. That's good. Dark Embrace, perfect. Juggernaut. You see? So it's, it's just for Urn, but it works. Oh, Metallicize puts a kind of clock on this fight. But you see it now, right? That's fine, we got burning blood and blood bile. That's all we need. Quick and easy. Fantastic. Makes us quite a bit more powerful and fearsome. Especially fearsome. Okay. Disarm Shockwave. One more normality in there, but we have Gamble Brute for it. We have Dark Embrace Secret Technique for Impervious. And then Exhume is also here. Can we end the fight? Can we end the fight? This with a big fiend fire, but we can't really get a big fiend fire. We just can't get one. Can we? I'm looking at like a exhum impervious. Draw into Battle Trance, Battle Trance, Fiend Fire, Power Through, end the fight. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's not really what I was thinking. <laughs> Yikes. Not really good, but it'll do. Can't, don't even think about it.
Oh, shockwave. No, bro. Why? Why, Fiendfire? That's okay. That's okay, actually. One, two, three. See? So this HP mattered. Jeez. Getting away with it. How did... <laughs> How to get away with it? Ascension 20 ironclad. <laughs> the perfect strike is back. Perfect strike plus. I'm still digging. I'm still digging. That's fine. I'm going here and I'm keying this. That's totally, yeah. Bye. Don't need you. And I'm digging again. Or do you ever recall here? Nah. I don't know. We'll just dig. Wow. Wow. The urn has earned its respect. The game says, all right, we'll make it a little easier for you then. If that's how you're going to be about it. And we say, yes, we are not trying to die to Reptomancer. And we got the blue candle now. So doing okay. Grab Shockwave here. I want to grab Battle Trance. This fight could be hard for us. It could be. In theory, you know? Because bludgeon past turn. Oh, I pop back up. Bludgeon past turn. Oh, my pop back up. Just to be certain. Get rid of the one that we did not disarm. <laughs> the discovery urn. But yeah, see, it's a little bit, a little bit uncertain. We have combust in play, but I still think we could outpace it. Just call it there then. We'll heal in another fight. These guys clearly are not in the mood, 
The speed potion's fantastic with the barricade. Take another shockwave. We got corruption. We're playing a long fight. Two. I don't know why they let Ma only attack for five damage on Ascension 20 turn two. Or, yeah, like... Well, not only because you can attack for 30 or something like that, too. But... You know what I mean. You shouldn't be allowed to attack for two. You should be made to attack for quite a bit more. It's an icon of the Maw Bank of Fearsome Act 3 <laughs> encounter. Yeah, he deserves respect, is what I'm telling you. Isn't that right? 96 HP earned. That's not a whole lot. Could be quite a bit more. And it just might be. Need a dual wield. Good thing we can get that from Discovery as well. I can't believe the blue candle, that's crazy. That's a card we need with the speed potion. I love Discovery. I mean, we got meal ticket anyway. I think we need a body slam but you could take a body slam it's it's fine it's just i don't think we need it we could always discovery into it if we're in a position where we need it we could wait we could wait and get a body slam if we play discovery enough times let's get recall done and under 92 gold mob bank meal ticket i'm feeling good Surely there's something worth mirroring here. Now we have the money, so we might as well mirror discovery. Don't tempt me. It's a discovery plus. Don't tempt me. I don't think we could be too upset with mirroring impervious. And I want this too, because intangible is powerful. And I, let's remove a normality just because it is a little bit iffy. I want to just exhaust one of them with blue candle and be like that's it we're good you know just, we're done tea set it's possible but we have happy flower on too i think probably just wait till the last shop not a whole lot else going on here that's not gonna come up question card is far too late that's why you don't get tea set None of those are worth playing. I 
I want to get the armaments. Normalities over there. Okay. Battle trans barricade power through, something like that, perhaps. Oh, right. I forgot about blue candle. Duh. 10, 11, 12 with discovery. Ooh. Can't be mad about having two impervious. Wow. Well, okay. Well, all right then. One, two, three. Your turn. Pocket watch is so disrespectful to Time Eater. I didn't realize that we didn't even have a Evolve in play. Yikes. Do we want to get this upgraded with armaments if we can? Instance burner is coming up. I don't really want to do that yet. Just in case, you know. Done no damage. But it's coming. Rampage is also a way you could go about this fight. Just to clear up space. Offering. Can we end this fight? That's my question. I guess not. But maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Pitiful, man. Pitiful time eater. 
want to grab the armaments for the shockwave. Is that so wrong? Maybe. Maybe that's a terrible idea. One, two, three. It's hard to earn stall in this fight just because it's awakened one. Kind of gets upset when you try to do something like that. Do we have to draw all of the powers right? Or not the powers, the block cards right now. Do we have to? Yikes. I'm about to exhume secret technique. There's no way that's a good idea. Zoom secret technique for battle trance? Just get anything? Wow. If only we had barricade in play. But we do not. I don't know if that was worth turning off Pocket Watch for. Maybe save one of these for next Awaken One phase. We're getting impervious next. I'll take Headbutt. This other impervious up. Build some block. Instance burners coming up. Honestly, might as well shockwave now. Kind of my thoughts. Is the weak and vulnerable about to wear off? Sorry, Awaken One. Truly. I do apologize. It's just where we're at. It's where we're at, my friend.
Time it with instance burner. The Burden Deck. Intangible, so we'll lose one HP from Bloodletting. Not bad. Burning Pact is huge. It's a little bit gross, I'm sorry, truly. The Rage Juggernaut? <gasps> yeah, let's just end it. Let's end it. We'll be okay. We got a meal ticket for next act. And since Burner on 5, it's not ideal. But we have Pocket Watch once again. Um, maybe turn 1 is the turn we want it for. So that's what I'm banking on. Nice. That'll get the job done. Self-forming clay is fantastic. Wow. Chick flower urn. Well, okay, we got a pendant bludgeon. Have to pendant bludgeon. We could lose dex pot for colorless pot or power pot. More likely power pot. Because we haven't found a feel no pain. And that would be nice. Could also take Panacea with Speed Potion. I do want to get rid of this last normality. None of these relics are really doing it for me. Is Panacea Speed Potion real? I think that kind of makes sense. But I'm not so sure we need that. So it can only harm. That's a nice deck. It's a very clean, honest deck. Just not so sure dex potion's the way to go. Could even be energy potion. There's a body slam on sale as well. Which could be the way to go, but we got... I mean, self-forming clay and pendant. We're healing a lot with the discovery. Power potion in the name of urn. And in the name of, we couldn't find a single feel no pain, so please provide me a feel no pain. Please. I'm begging you. In the name of that, yeah. And Panacea. We could also bottle something. Maybe something's worth bottling. We could bottle Disarm. But then what's Clay for? We could bottle Secret Technique. But that would shut off Pocket Watch. Almost certainly. Bottle Shockwave. Is there anything even worth bottling? Bottle Battle Trance. 
panacea could also prevent the you cannot draw cards thing. I kind of want to buy the panacea for the speed potion to keep the dexterity. Forethought. Forethought. You guys don't know about the forethought, do you? First of all, we can forethought bludgeon. Second of all, go forethought anything. Discovery. Forethought something, secret technique, get back. I like the forethought here. Although we have bloodletting. Bloodletting with the clay, there's really no need to take forethought. But I kind of like it here, man. I feel like it could be good. Because you forethought discovery and it costs zero. And man, I'm going to take the forethought. I trust it. You don't know about the forethought. About to be forethought carry. Ascension 20. Ironclad win. I think this is probably a fight we want to just rip corruption in, but I'm not sure. Probably, huh? With an impervious in there, two imperviouses in there, and two shockwaves in there. This is disrespecting the magic flower urn. But it is real, nonetheless. Wow. So you could forethought something and then forethought one of these and then draw another card from it later. Make our battle trance bigger. Although we're playing all of this anyway. We don't have barricade in play. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with everything. I'm doing great. Feeling fine. Fourth thought, fourth thought, the bludgeon. You could combust. Ah, oh, sorry, Gremlin Horn. The shovel really didn't do that much, sadly. Oh, is that just it? But do we want that on two? Sure. All right. Bottle Tornado. On Dark Embrace? Or on Evolve? Dark Embrace or Evolve? Return to Heart with the Pocket Watch. Dark Embrace or Evolve? Which are we more upset about? Drawing too late. I think it's gotta be Dark Embrace. Or it could be Barricade. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll find Barricade. We have Barricade.
If we wanted, we could Secret Technique Panacea, take the Speed Potion. Without beam fire, how about it? Okay, so self-forming clay is not getting a lot of value here. Now you're about to see what the forethought is about. Maybe. We got clay. You're about to see. So we could take Inflame. Heal three because Bird Urn with the Magic Flower. We should get rid of that. the secret technique then we could go okay let's forethought the discovery then we say okay we don't need two bloodlettings keep a true grid around we might want one of those then we could say let's forethought the impervious and the bludgeon then we could say, let's true grit this burn. And then we have two dark embraces in play. We get the impervious and the bludgeon. And draw two more. It's an energy solution. Oh. Or thought this entrench this discovery you kind of see what I'm trying to do right it's not really working out but it'll be fine I was trying to see if there was a way to full heal doing a forethought infinite using discovery burnt urn and uh, magic flower Might need dual wield or heat sinks, but yeah, forethought the bludgeon, and then we could, you know, Draw three, and draw more than that, more than that. 
Okay, whenever card is exhausted, draw three. We have three Dark Embraces in play. And that pays for the bloodletting cost, is getting a power from Discovery. Nice big old pen to bludgeon. Four thought carry, ascension twenty ironclad win. What can I say? Discovery carry. Discovery carry more like. game. Good fight. Easy. A little bit, a little bit cheesy. Easy, a little bit cheesy. Ascension 20 Ironclad win. <laughs> oh no. The big bludgeon reigns supreme. Finally. Finally gotten the ironclad beta art. Completed an ascension 20 run. Oh no, it's just beat the heart. That's what you have to do to get beta art. I don't know why it's doing that bug. It's done that ever since the last update for this game. But that was a pretty lovely little bludgeon fiend fire combo run. With the double bloodletting. There was some, oh wow, that only healed 12. 51 block yeah but 154 hp earn that's almost as much as burning blood <laughs> more like earning blood oh i'm sorry that's terrible 19 week prevented yeah don't even think about it 42 hp meal ticket no hp regal pillow six relic shovel 448 gold membership card pocket watch happening almost all the time Blue candle normalities. That's funny. The war paints into Discovery. I love Discovery. Discovery is an awesome card, even if you're not using it to stall for urn. But that's something you could do. So, hope you enjoyed that ironclad run. Because I did. And until next time.